Today I'm going to teach you how to backside disaster on the mini ramp. So before you start learning this trick, you should make sure you can switch rock. And make sure you can backside kick turn. Alright, so this trick really is just like a backside kick turn. Right? Instead of just doing it under the coping though, turn and let your wheel slide right over the coping and you'll just keep turning. All right, so you're gonna come up like a backside kick turn, but instead of doing it under the coping, you're just gonna kinda use that momentum and fly out over the rail and just let it keep turning. All right now, if you're a beginner, I recommend just kinda popping out of the ramp, keep turning and land like this. Cause then you have time to Decide what you're gonna do, start to feel it out and whatnot. But once you start feeling it out, you're gonna wanna get used to sliding your wheels under the coping. Now let me explain. This technique applies with a lot of tricks on mini ramps, so definitely take note of this. All right, so if you kind of power slide the back wheels, it really gives you a lot of control on mini ramp and kind of keeps you light footed and really just makes everything a lot more precise. It really just gives you more control and power while you're doing the trick. And then when you do that, it kind of acts as like a mini ollie, right? Because you're popping over, your wheels are bumping off of the coping. So then you could slide your foot more towards the nose where you have to be to come back in. Then coming back in is just as simple as a switch rock. The real trick to this is to not land on the deck and kind of keep both wheels not touching the quarter pipe or the deck. Just the board on the rail looks the best, usually. Do this to get control of the trick, which is perfectly fine, but just not the way I do it. So you'll turn, and some people do it like that, right? So they have control, and it kind of stops their momentum and stops their shoulders from turning. Then they come back in. Me, personally, I like to do it in one fluid motion. So, just not my thing, but definitely a thing. I know in the beginning you can feel awkward and you're gonna wanna keep turning, but once you power through that one and come back in and use your momentum, it's over, that's it. Like, it's all in your head, that keep turning thing, and it's just honestly a lack of confidence. So once you get over that first one and actually go in the ramp, that just goes away. So an advanced technique and really makes the trick look professional is when you come in, you have one foot on the nose here, one foot about here right and when you come in you kind of give a little hop and press on the nose like you were nose manualing off a curb or something once you do that little hop you shift back onto the tail so then you have one foot on the tail one foot in the middle then you're ready to hit the other side and it just looks way better and it gives you more speed and then you're set up to hit the other side of the ramp once you get that trick down then you can learn some variations. I don't know how good your nollie coordination is, but nollie backside disaster, great way to start getting into it, getting the feel of it. Now, I know some people ollie into this trick, like a big back 180 into the disaster, but I imagine if you're watching this video, you're not really trying to learn that you're probably just trying to get the trick to start so maybe in a later video let me know if you guys want to see that all right i hope this trick tip was helpful thanks for watching